And a reason why advisors should understand this is because it's a new asset class that their clients could be invested in and they could be spending tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on just one of these things. And that's something to know about because you, you want to know where your clients are investing. And you want to know that and you at least, you know, you may not have any influence over that, but you should at least realize that they've got a large portion or some portion of their assets invested in this, uh, in this uh, particular asset class. And I think it also has to come from the perspective of like, what if it is a required investment these days in order to be prudent? What if a prudent investment approach implies that you do have to be invested in crypto assets and that it is in fact irresponsible and destructive of your client's financial well-being to not be invested in this right if you've got if you're young and you're full on risk tolerance and your you know your horizon, your investment horizon is long um and it's especially given sort of the macroeconomic structure of what the US is doing with the dollar i i think there's some strong arguments to be made about why digital assets and digital objects are in fact um, where most of the early stage alpha is going to be created over the next decade and, and has been in the next in the last uh, decade. Um, you know and investing in NFTs and art isn't it's not in any way new uh, to this moment. Lots and lots of investors uh, at the high net worth segment in, use art as a store of value and uh, build out art collections. Um, and many people think that some NFT projects today are the equivalent of buying a Jackson Pollock, you know, or or Andy Warhol or Picasso. At the very moment of the apex of that movement, you know, and so um, I think advisors. The, the reaction shouldn't be like, oh, this is frivolous, uh, but rather the reaction should be, you know, what is driving the value in this market? Because like you said, you know, not only are some pictures selling for a couple of thousand dollars, I would say some pictures are selling for millions uh, of dollars and they're, they're being sold at Christie's and Sotheby's, you know, so if you need institutional mm -hmm. sort of rubber stamping, um, you have it. <laughs>